WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hello, everyone. Basil Chapman here, back in the saddle, as we you say. We're looking at the Dow on this Monday, the 25th of July, wrapping up the month almost, is up 105. So the Dow's up 105 at 32,007. It hit 32,219 on Friday and then reversed quite sharply. It's a leg C in the Chapman Wave methodology, a buy mode, which this is in, invariably goes to at least a peak D. What was important is that the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone has become a support level. We'll see what happens here because the MACD is good. Stochastic's fabulous at 94%. The on-balance volume is very weak. Uh, are we going to wait until it goes all the way to overboard, or is this telling us something we won't know? Uh, we do have the Fed speak on Wednesday, so maybe we start to get a little bit of a slowdown Tuesday into Wednesday morning. We're looking at the S&P. Now, this is going to be fascinating. Look, the S&P which was quite weak early on, is now up 7 at 39.68. Uh, this is only a leg B in the weekly, in the daily chart, actually also in the weekly chart. So, so far, this is so very positive. Uh, we've been positive on the market for some time since mid-June, and we're looking at the QQQ down 86 at uh, 301.19. It made a peak C. It made its one-to-one -one expansion to the upside. <clears throat> now it's doing some testing of the 300 level. I would like to see within the next two days that it gets to the 307s, 306, 307. That's a big ask. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 is up 23 cents at 179.75. Uh, it legs C is doing quite nicely. This is going to be very important. Look at gold. <clears throat> gold is down 10 at 1717. It's really struggling. It's come off the low of Thursday, but uh, this is a real struggle. If you're looking at the dollar, the dollar, in fact, is weak. It's down 32 ticks at 106.25. Made a peak E top. I'm about to put a down arrow in it to say that it's going to a sell. Signal may be upgraded to a sell mode. That's on the very short term. Weekly is an leg, a peak D is still looking very good technically. And we're looking also at the uh, crude oil. Now, this is going to be fascinating. Why? Because crude oil is stuck in the lower end at 95.56, up 84 cents, but in the lower end. And the TLT, which is bonds, made a peak D on Friday. Leg D Friday could be a peak D today. So the yields are just stuck in a range. I'll be back with the target technicians. Now, a lot to discuss. Check out my people. We've had some fabulous trades. While I was the last.